remember, if we're looking at this equation, I can look at the type of symmetry. Okay? If you remember before, we made this cool little chart where it was like x-axis, y-axis, and origin. Don't write this down. And to do x-axis, we, we plugged in a negative y. So we said like negative y equals negative 3x squared plus 4, and we changed all the signs and so on. You remember doing that? It was super annoying. Okay? It was long and hard and not very fun. We're not doing that. I'm going to show you the shortcut. Okay? Here's the shortcut to make a decision to check if, to see if a function is even or odd. We are going to look at the exponents. And what before took us probably five minutes per problem is going to take us about 15 seconds, if that. So here's what we're doing. We are looking at the exponents for each chunk of the problem. Okay? Chunk is a word that I use a lot that no other math teacher will ever use. But here's what I mean by chunk. That is a chunk, and that is a chunk. Just something separated by a plus or a minus sign that's going to split it up into multiple parts. Okay? In this first part, what is the exponent on my x going to be? It's a 2. When you think of the number 2, do you think of even or odd? Even. even. That's an even number. Okay? That number 4, this is a little bit weird. What is the exponent on my x for the number 4? One. Not 1. Because how many x's are there? Do you see any x's? No. I don't see any x's, so it's not 1. It's 0. There's no x's right there. It's x to the 0 power. Okay? This is a little bit of a trick thing, but it makes this really easy. Okay? It's to the 0 because there aren't any x's. So if it's just a number like 4 or 7 or 9, it's x to the 0. When you think of the number 0, what do you think, even or odd? It's even. It's not really even, even or odd. It's, it's, it doesn't have a value. But for this, again, we're going to say it's even. All right? Once you've made your decision on everything, all you're doing is looking at your exponents. If they're both even, what kind of function do you think it is? Even. If everything in your graph is even, then my function is even. Again, know what we just did. This isn't magic that we're making happen. Okay? We are looking at this equation, and without doing anything, we're going to be able to make a decision on it. Okay? So look, if I type in negative 3x squared, is it plus 4x? Yeah. Plus 4. If I type in that function, it gives me this thing right here. Is that graph right here, does that have uh, y-axis symmetry? Yep. I can fold it over. It's even. I didn't look at the function, but by just looking at the equation, I could make that decision. Let's do the next one. Letter B. 2x cubed minus 4x. Looking at this first part right here, there's two parts. 2x cubed, my exponent is 3. When you think of 3, do you think even or odd? Odd. Negative 4x, what's my exponent there on that x? That's a 1 because it's there. Okay? I see an x, that means it's a 1 exponent on that x. When I think 1, even or odd? Odd. Both of my equations are odd, or both my exponents are odd, so what does that mean about my function? It is an odd function. Again, let's double check it. 2x cubed minus 4x, just seeing what it looks like. 2x cubed minus 4x. That graph right there, it has origin symmetry. This quadrant looks like that one, this one looks like that one. It's actually doing, telling us something useful about our function. Okay? Letter C, let's look at this one. 2x cubed, exponent, even or odd? Odd, because it's 3. This chunk, even or odd? I could really stop right there. As soon as you have a mixture of both even and odd exponents, it's neither. Even if you had 10,000 evens and one odd, it would be neither. So this function is neither. Let's just keep going down the line so we double check ourselves. On 4x, is that even or odd? Odd because it's 1, so that's going to be odd. And then 4 is even because it's x to the 0. So I definitely have a mixture there. It's neither. Okay? Let's do a, a, some checks on our own. This isn't on your paper. Just look up at the board. I'm going to put one up on the board, and you're going to think about it for a second. So here we go. Let's do 3 x to the sixth plus uh, 5. So looking at that function for a second, let's do it just like we did before. Show me a 2 if you think that function is even, 
three if you think it's odd, or bird if you think it's neither. Even, odd, or neither. Seeing lots of twos. Let's check. What is six, even or odd? What is the exponent on this five? Zero. You've got to be careful there. Sometimes kids will say that's odd. It's not. So that one is even. Good. Let's do another one. Uh, let's go four x to the fifth plus seven x minus one. Four x to the fifth plus seven x minus one. Even, odd, or neither. Even, odd, or neither. Let's see what we think. This one even or odd? Odd. This one even or odd? Because it's to the first, that's odd. Even or odd? Because that's x to the zero. Double check. That's neither. Let's do one last one. Even, odd, neither. Show me one. Even, odd, or neither. Even, odd, or neither. This chunk, odd, because it's 5. This chunk, odd, because it's 1. Since they're both the same, it's odd. Easy enough? Cool. That's even.